if you follow the E Light Bars channel on YouTube or any of the things I do for that matter, uh, you probably know I love things that oscillate. Uh, when I found this Grimes wingtip light on eBay not working for a very reasonable price, I had to jump on it. Um, it arrived and I was intrigued immediately. It is uh, both 110 volts for the motor, or 115, and 28 volts for the bulb, which made for a very interesting teardown, and ultimately the way that I restored it to working condition was by unfortunately gutting it quite a bit, but I got what I wanted out of it, which was an oscillating light. Um, these aviation lights come with all sorts of things you don't necessarily see in ground vehicles. Redundancies, uh, feedback sort of systems like this micro switch that trips at the farthest position. I'm not sure exactly why it does that or what sort of signal it sends, but that's when it trips. So again, you can see with the reflector out there, um, some of the components, how it works maybe a little bit. And there's the uh, switch actuator and the micro switch that uh, activates at the furthest position of the light. And there's actually screw holes on the other side if you wanted to make it activate for the other side. So I set out to get the thing actually moving. Um, using a drill to spin the motor is not the highest tech or most efficient way to do it, but I wanted proof of concept. So I found a drill bit that fit into the end of the worm gear and I started her moving. Um, I was a little surprised to see that the reflector meets a lot of resistance. Uh, if the top's not installed, so I started just working the mechanism without the reflector in place, and um, I got pretty good results with that. Uh, at least proof of concept of how it worked, and that it still did work aside from the motor or the power, uh, which I wasn't messing with. Um, again, you can see the little uh, nub that's been added to one of the cams that contacts that switch. And again, that could have been flipped to the other side. So here we are, 12 volt. I got a 12 volt motor thrown in this thing. Um, I got the worm gear uh, to fit on a 12 volt DC motor of about the same RPMs. Uh, I was actually very happy with uh, how it operated. And um, so I set about doing the rest of the 12 volt conversion after this success. Um, I placed the unit back into the housing, reinstalled the reflector um, without the 28 volt bulb uh, for proof of concept of motion. And we have motion. Uh, in fact, a speed that I feel is pretty indicative of oscillating aircraft lights. And I was pretty happy with this. Um, the next challenge, of course, would be figuring out what type of 12 volt bulb is going to work in this. Um, but from the back view here, you can see exactly how that mechanism works, working exactly as it's intended, just on a 12 volt motor now. You can also see the contact where the uh, power would go to the top contact of the bulb. Um, you get a pretty good range of oscillation out of this reflector. Um, it sweeps the full size of the light head. You get... Uh, a nice arcing sweep. You can kind of see some of the mechanism in there behind. Um, again, I was just happy that it was running on 12 volt and we had movement. So from there we set out to see if we could get it lit. And I found a 12 volt bulb that fit. So we got light and we have motion. So now I have pretty much what I wanted. Um, I have a oscillating assembly running on full 12 volt and it is missing some of the uh, redundant aircraft features and a couple of the um, 
little triggers and things that I would have liked to keep to see what I could do with them, but this is bare bones working and I was very happy to have it doing that. Now we got the lenses back on. Um, the lenses are kind of interesting to me. They look more blue than green, although I believe this model is listed as green. There's just a very blue tint to the to the lens, which are glass. Uh, looking into the back as it's functioning with the glass in place, you get a nice view of uh, the mechanism running very smoothly. And again, looking at the unit in general, you get that nice wide sweep. Um, you get pretty decent brightness for the 12 volt replacement bulb I got in there. There's not a lot of 12 volt bulbs that fit that shape. So overall, pretty happy with it.